Hello. Today, let's take a look at another use case of cardinality. Let's say we have multi-line checkboxes as displayed on the screen. And we are supposed to check two of them or three of them together. Now we'll see how it works using explicit name and cardinality together. I have already scanned this page and created a module for it. Multi-line checkboxes. If you will notice, I have selected only one checkbox. As these checkboxes are having similar properties, we have selected only one checkbox. And now the next thing is to add the explicit name configuration parameter. So I have added explicit name by right clicking on the module attribute and select create configuration parameter. Name it as explicit name and provide its value to true. Now, we'll see the use of it uh, separately. However, here we are using it to identify the checkboxes as they are having similar identification criteria or properties. Now, in this case, we need not have the control identified uniquely as we are using the explicit name. You just need to select this particular control during scanning and then save it. Now, the next thing will change the cardinality value from 0 to 1 to 0 to n. I have already done that. Now, let's jump into the test cases section. I have already dragged and dropped this module onto a test case. Yes. And now, in order to select the first two checkboxes, for selecting first checkbox, I have provided its name as hashtag 1 so that it will look for the control onto the screen with the specified criteria and for the similar criteria it will look for the second particular control then i have selected its value as true as it is a checkbox the value available to select is true so let's give it a run to see if it checks the first two checkboxes Alright, so it has selected the first two checkboxes. Now we'll try to select the third one also. For that, we have to write hashtag three and then set its value to true. Let's give it a run. So it has successfully selected all the three checkboxes. So in this scenario, in order to have the same control uh, used repeatedly in a test step, that too in conjunction with explicit name, we have used the cardinality property. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.